Lobo Creek is located in Hamilton County, New York, in the town of Wells, and is part of the Sacandaga River watershed. This tributary of the Sacandaga River flows into Lake Algonquin. Elbow Creek has been altered by human-induced practices and severe weather events, resulting in bank erosion, sediment transport, and ecosystem degradation. In the 1960s and 70s, a section of Elbow Creek was straightened with bulldozers, what was in those days a common management practice. Fish and macro invertebrate habitats were compromised, sediment deposition was modified, and stream velocity increased. Worsening matters, a severe rainstorm event occurred in 1996 and Elbow Creek flooded, washing out a section of Gilman Town Road. Chunks of asphalt and boulders were carried from steep sections of the stream to its lower reaches. Since then, other storm events have further increased bank erosion. Because of these events, local landowners suffered property damage and portions of their lawns washed away. The ecosystem was adversely impacted because water flowed under the substrate during periods of low precipitation. The stream bed often looked like a moonscape without a trace of water on the surface. Carl Schwartz of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was instrumental to the success of the Elbow Creek Restoration Project. Unnatural erosion because of human-induced banks and what we've done to them and what we've done to our streams has taken the streams way out of whack. With the changes that people have done to the streams, there's a, an extremely excessive amount of sediment that's added to the water, and that reduces aquatic life, and it uh, affects drinking water quality standards, and it is transported downstream and deposited, which causes additional bank erosion downstream, so it just, the whole thing starts to get unraveled because of some of the things that are done in one section affect both upstream and downstream because the stream has to adjust to that. So millions of tons of sediment are washed down through our systems that don't need to be. Natural channel design is a fairly new concept to stream restoration that utilizes the natural geomorphology of a stream to promote stabilization and reconstruct aquatic and floodplain habitat. You're working with the stream and with the system instead of hardening up places and working against the system. And, then, and there's much less maintenance, so over time it's much cheaper to do it this way and have the stream work with it rather than try to come in every year and fix it. If you just go in with a bulldozer and clean it all out, the next storm is going to fill it all back in again. So you have to have some sort of a, of a structure that will help the stream maintain itself, and that's what National Channel Design is all about. A partnership was formed between the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Town of Wells and the Hamilton County Highway Departments to implement natural channel design. After a preliminary analysis of Elbow Creek's fluvial characteristics, excavation began. Material was removed from a portion of the stream bed to reestablish the channel to its natural state. Rock structures were placed at specific locations in the channel using an excavator. These J-hooks and cross veins will redirect the energy of the stream away from the banks to the middle of the channel. J-hooks are placed on the outside of the river bends where erosion normally occurs. Cross veins are placed in the straight runs of the channel and help to control the grade of the stream. These structures are designed so that the bank is going to be more stable and it takes the stress off the bank and puts it into the channel where it can scour and move so you have some pools and ripples for fish and habitat, but it reduces the bank erosion. Natural channel design has helped to limit bank erosion and stabilize the banks of Elbow Creek. Locals and visitors are now able to enjoy this stream and everything it has to offer. The aquatic ecosystem will become more diverse now that natural channel design has helped to restore Elbow Creek to a healthier state. 